do all these things. Everything in this place has a meaning to our industry. Uh, over here, I don't know where that was used, but it's not, it wasn't an inaugural, but it probably something the president did some years ago or something. Um, you mentioned the, the stuff that you had from 1949. I'm going to take you up Kennedy there and show flowers. you that. And these flowers were used in the Kennedy inauguration? Absolutely, certainly were. Whereabouts? Well, uh, at the armory and the ceiling, great big balls, we had them all stuck in there. And, and uh, they were used at the Mayflower, and they were used at the Sheraton Park Hotel. And uh, oh, all these inaugural balls. Yeah, and the Shoreham. That were the five balls that year. And these turtles, you know. Now we'll we'll keep the we'll keep the beads, uh, like coffee beads or different things. Are these raisins? They could be. Yeah, yeah, dried raisins. So this was in the 2004 inaugural parade. Yeah, yeah, sure was. It was two or three of them. There's another one over there. And, um, but, uh, my gracious. Wow. Now, did you? But we have monuments of, of all of them because people want to see that. And you, you take the um, World War II Memorial. Mm -hmm. We did that grand opening. The uh, Vietnam, same thing. The uh, Korean Memorial, no doubt you've been to all of these. Sure. It, we're the ones that professionally had the grand opening. You've been to the Marine Corps one down in? What? That's our work. And um, so we, we're quite proud of all this, but so why do you keep these things? Because people always want to have something that represents America, Washington, the nation, you know, whatever. I see a huge American flag up here. Oh yeah, yeah. That's What's the story on that? The fourth America, fourth inaugural it's been in. That's the one I told you about with Reagan, and they canceled a parade. That I took into the Cap Center on pipes because it was too tall to get in there. And so you uh, had to take the wheels off. Yeah. So when you look at this coming down to Pennsylvania Avenue, it's going to be a cutout of the state of Illinois. And then it's gonna be the State House in Springfield. It's gonna be a little small children's tractor for farming. And then up there is gonna be the Sears building. So then they'll have uh, uh, wonderful uh, pictures all around this thing. Uh, well, this is special because this is the president's home state. That's right, that's right. And the flag it just represents America. Uh, it doesn't have a, uh, a, state sponsor. Uh, a sponsor, but um, this is all hand done. And you see, before we get it out of here, the top part's got to come out. Crane comes in here Thursday, lifts the top off, take it all apart, we take it out that big door. Now you say the top, you mean? Top of the flag. The flags come off uh, Yeah, you, you the see it right here? Oh, yeah. It comes right off in there. And um, then we get it outside the door, we put it back together. Well, we won't hear. Uh, this one is too tall, it's 23 foot going down. The, but we'll go down at the end of the parade, uh, at the beginning of the parade, and then put it together with a crane. Now, how do you get this down to the parade route? Do you drive down the yeah. expressway? Yeah, with police. At 1 o'clock in the morning or something? Well, th this year we're going at 10 o'clock in the morning on the 20th, on the uh, uh, 19th day before. Past years we always did it the night before the parade the next day, but uh, it, it, we felt because of the traffic we better request that we take it a day early and they agreed to it. So, so if you happen on. to be driving the opposite way uh, on Highway 50 that morning, don't be surprised to see a giant yes. American flag.